Help support Name Explain by liking this video, leaving a comment and subscribing to the channel. In Europe, you will find a certain country, a nation with Prague as its capital, with an obsession for castles, mountains and beer. So much beer. Now, you may have noticed that I haven't said the name of this country. However, I'm sure you know I'm talking about the Czech Republic. What with the thumbnail title and everything. Though there are many names that this country has gone by. Some stuck around for a long time, but have since become outdated relics of the past. Some may even argue that the name I used, Czech Republic, is out of date too. So, what exactly should you call this country? And what names has this nation gone by in the past? The Czech Republic is a nation with a seriously rich history especially with its neighbouring Slovakia. In fact, these two nations were once one singular nation under the name of Czechoslovakia. And while Slovakia will play a role in this video, today we will be primarily focusing on the Czecho part of this name. We actually covered Slovakia in a different video altogether and why its name is similar to Slovenia. So go check that out for the other side of this story. The part of this name we will be focusing on comes from those who lived in the land, the Czechs. While we aren't too sure as to how this name came about initially, the story that seems to be most most popular for the naming of these people is that it was the name of one of the three legendary brothers who founded lands in Europe. These three brothers being Lech, Czech and Rus. The story goes that each brother founded land in Europe and lent their name to it. These lands being Poland, the Czech Republic and Russia respectively. So when the land of the Czechs was joined with the land of the Slovaks, their names were simply put together to form the name Czechoslovakia. And Czechoslovakia is a name I feel that people may still name this nation, as the nation of Czechoslovakia only truly split into two separate nations in 1993 and while for some that may seem like a really long time ago for me it's one year before i was born to others the majority of their lives were spent with a nation being called czechoslovakia so it's understandable why older people may still call this czechoslovakia it can be hard to shake off old habits now i've kind of started this story somewhere in the middle as while czechoslovakia is perhaps one of the most commonly known previous names for these lands there are names that came before it and names that have come after it with one of the most renowned ancient names with these lands being Bohemia, which once again we looked at in a video all to itself. Bohemia is a name that once again comes from the people who lived there, the Celtic boy tribe. However, Bohemia wasn't alone in forming or going to become the Czech part of Czechoslovakia, as there was also the historic regions of Moravia and Czech Silesia. These three regions together made up an area of the world what are now known as the Czech lands, and seemed to more or less form the modern borders of the Czech Republic. The region of Moravia got its name through the river that from through it, the Morava. The name at Silesia isn't too clear, it may have come from the name of a Germanic people who lived in the area. The reason this is specifically called Czech Silesia however is due to this being just the Czech part of Silesia, a historic region that overlapped the Czech lands and other nations. Also bonus tangent etymology, apparently it's from Silesia that we got the word sleazy from. Apparently sleazy originally meant fuzzy and the theory goes that a type of fuzzy fabric was made in Silesia, so this fuzzy fabric was described as being sleazy as it came from Silesia leisure and the word just stuck around and changed meaning. As time went on, the Czech land and their neighbouring Slovakia became part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, which they stayed a part of all the way until 1918 when this empire collapsed in the fallout of the First World War. It was after this that the nation of Czechoslovakia formed, which we talked about at the start of this video. This initial iteration of Czechoslovakia lasted till 1939. It was this year that the Munich Pact was signed between Germany, Italy, France and the UK, which held off war but gave Czechoslovakia to Germany. Initially, it was only meant to be one small part of Czechoslovakia, but eventually, those who should not be named due to YouTube demonetization took over and occupied all of the country. Under German occupation, the nation of Czechoslovakia was split into the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia and the Slovak Republic, with the Germans giving the Czech part of Czechoslovakia the older names we mentioned previously. Of course, with the Second World War coming to an end and the Prague Uprising taking place, Czechoslovakia soon found itself free of German occupation. It was after the Second World War that communism started to grow more popular in the nation. They even signed a friendship treaty with the Soviets to help cement communism's place in Czechoslovakia. However, this friendship turned sour when the Soviets disallowed Czechoslovakia from receiving US help. The communists wanted to control the country and this led to riots in the streets of Prague and eventually the Soviets taking control of the nation in 1945. During this time under communist rule, once again the nation got a new name 
but not too different. It was called the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic, and within this we had the Czech Socialist Republic and the Slovak Socialist Republic. What I found interesting about this is that this seems like the first time the land area that would become the Czech Republic had the word Czech in its official name. At least I think it is. I know it was formerly known as the Czech lands, but I don't know if that name was ever used officially. I'm happy to be wrong though, so let me know down below if I am. Communist rule in this country eventually came to an end in 1989 through revolution, but not the kind of revolution that you usually think of. This revolution was a series of peaceful protests and demonstrations across the nation. Perhaps the most noticeable thing about this revolution is that not a single person died due to it. It was a gentler revolution, and because of this it became known as the Velvet Revolution, as Velvet is gentle too. A playwright by the name of Václav Havel became the first person to become president post-communist regime. However, this sparked the biggest, most volatile and disastrous war to hit the nation yet, the Hyphen War. Okay, so maybe I was being a tad overdramatic there. The Hyphen War was a tongue-in-cheek name given to the debacle over what to call the nation post-Velvet Revolution. In 1990, Czechoslovak Parliament was unable to figure out what to call the nation. The Slovak side wanted to put a hyphen in the name to allow the Slovak part to stand out. This seems to have eventually been settled with the nation becoming named the Czech and Slovak Federal Republic. However, this communist and hyphen-free iteration of Czechoslovakia wouldn't last long. This new name was appointed in 19. 1990, and by 1993 it was agreed that the nation would split into two separate countries. This separation became known as the Velvet Divorce, in O to the former Velvet Revolution, and due to the fact that like the revolution there was minimal violence in the process. The Czech and Slovak population of the country had been together for a while and they were just drifting apart. Different ideologies were emerging between the two groups and a separation of the two places seemed to be in the best interest to everyone. Truth be told, this sounds like a far cleaner breakup than any other breakup I know about. Credit to them. So on December 1st, 31st, 1992, Czechoslovakia ceased to exist, and in its place were two new countries, the Czech Republic and Slovakia, which came into being the next day on January 1st, 1993. And that brings us all the way to now, except one more name for the Czech Republic has risen to prominence. In 2016, the name Czechia was approved by their government. While they still wanted to maintain the Czech Republic as their full official name, they also wanted to make Czechia their official short name. This is because pretty much every other nation has two names. Their official name and their official shortened name. We all know this country is France, but officially it's called the French Republic. Since breaking up with Slovakia, the Czech Republic never actually got an official short name, instead being always referred to by its full title when other nations were being called by their official short titles. Even Slovakia got a short name, with its official name being the Slovak Republic. Feeling left out for long enough, the name Czechia was created as their official short name, with the name having mixed results. I actually talked about this in a previous video when Czechia was a more recent creation. It's actually crazy how often I've talked about the Czech Republic but not actually made a video about them. Sorry to my Czech viewers, I hope this makes up for it. When I talked about this back in 2017, not only did I speak like a robot still, seriously how did I sound like that? I discussed how despite it being the official name for the nation and how much the government were using it, it wasn't really catching on. Three years later however, this still seems to be the case. Well, a 2018 article at least explains the name still isn't that popular. Language is an odd beast and something you can't really control. You can demand something be called something but if no one wants to to use it, it simply won't happen. Names only work when everyone accepts that it's its name, and it still seems that Czechia isn't being accepted. Though maybe I'm wrong, I'm just the guy sitting in a basement in England. People in Czechia, let me know how that name is going over there. Of course, I guess neither the Czech Republic or Czechia are their actual names, as these are merely their names in my native tongue of English. In Czech, these names are actually Česká Republika and Česko, so I guess if you really want to name this nation by the correct name, you should be using one of these two. That however brings us back to the initial question I had about this. What should you call the Czech Republic? Despite all the names that it's had in the past, I think it's pretty safe to say we should only really be using the Czech Republic and Czechia these days. Though, which one? Well, I guess it all depends on your view on the matter. If you want to stick with the Czech Republic or if you want to go with the new name of Czechia. I personally quite like Czechia. It gives the nation a short name like everywhere else and even gives us another ear nation to add to the map. I feel it all depends on context. If you are using countries' short names, then why not use the Czechia name? But if you're using long official names, then maybe stick with the Czech Republic. Like I said, that's my own view on it. There doesn't really seem to be a correct answer on this, no matter how much the Czech government tries to make Czechia a thing. However, something you shouldn't call it is just Czech. It's a pretty easy thing to do, and I almost went to do this a couple times while writing this video. However, Czech is more an adjective than a noun, used to describe the people and the language and things from this land. It would be like saying this country is called Swedish. 
As I mentioned at the start of this video, the Czech Republic is a nation with a lot of history, but what I find interesting specifically about Czech history is that each period of its history seems to come with a different name for the lands. To follow the history of the Czech Republic is to follow the history of its many names, from the Grand Castles of Bohemia to the nation under German occupation as the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, to its modern place in the world, with the new modern name of Czechia. Czechoslovakia was suggested by Denis Zavada, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explains patron saint of Czechoslovakia. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explain video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Before you click away, please remember that Name Explain relies on awesome people like you donating a small amount on a monthly basis over on Patreon, so a huge thank you to all the amazing people who do just this. Just $2 a month helps support the creation of two videos a week, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.